array length. Uh, to find out how many elements an array has, we can use the length property. So let's see the example. So again, our ages example that we have five elements. So if we call the ages dot length and then print the value, the output will be five. So um, please note that using length variable can prevent index out of bounds errors. Back at our household.java. So instead of saying like i uh, from zero to i less than five, so far our, our array was, was manageable, so we could save five, but you never know when your program that the size of array may change. Uh, so to be on, on, on safe side, we can say ages dot length. Right, so to test this, and I can say Java C household dot Java and Java household. So our, our program work exactly the same way. <coughs> except that we, 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 we use a better approach to, to solve this, okay? So, and then we could, we could apply the same thing here. Instead of 20, we can say uh, nets dot length. Likewise, we can apply the same thing here. Again, as far as the program go, nothing is going to change. It's just going to look better. So finally, in our sort, bubble sort, so we can, again, instead of using 10 here, we can say nums.length. So you can go ahead and make these changes on your program as well, and then test it to see if it still works the same way. Okay, so, all right, let's run this, and then see what happens. Bubble sort. And then test this. See before sort and after sort. It work is it looks exact same the same that is sorted. So good thing about this, if you go ahead and add a few more values to your to your uh, array, let's make it um, five here and negative five. So uh, doing this, so we're not gonna make any changes to our uh, sorting algorithm we expect that it, it to work the same way. Compile and then sort. So before sort and then after sort, seems like things are in, in order, okay? So go ahead and try to apply this to your own previous programs as well.